Situation matters. You see, this is why you don't listen to what I say. You think my takes are so off. Well, hey, oh, that's, that's, cool. That's, that's cool. It's cool. Let's Kyler wait and see. Let's wait and see. Kyler Murray is winning a championship in his career. This is settled. He's gonna have way more playoff success than Brock Purdy ever will have thought Purdy about. Doing? What is Brock Purdy selling? For listen, listen. That's Brock the Purdy take. Selling? That's the take. We can already say that Brock Purdy has more playoff success than Kyler Murray, can we not? And the nigga got injured. You know what? You, you're not Thank being you. Like, you know, Thank you. You're not being, the reason why you're not being fair, all that you should I'm be, not being no, fair no, now. Like Travis, just let me tell you why. And I, I, bro, I, I like, you, bro, you know yeah. what? I, I ain't finna even do all that because I like Brock. I'm not I, being I, I really fair now. Like I'm not being fair. No, no, but listen, but you, you're not taking this into account, bro. Okay. You know it's a real thing about where you land in the draft. You know that, bro, and you know they have the best. Listen to me, listen to me talk. Go ahead. Okay, I'm, have, I'm not saying they anything. They have a top five general manager, John Lynch, in the NFL. Okay, that helps, bro. This is the 49ers. They, they have one of the best uh, ownerships in, in all of sports. Listen to me. They have fans, I haven't they, said they, anything. Kyle Shanahan, the best one of the. He's the best. I haven't coach said right. anything. This guy probably has had the best run in the NFL without a fucking Super Bowl in the NFL history. Okay, his system works. As, as, as anybody has been in that system, bro, they, he brings out the best in you, bro. That fucking helps. C.J. Beathard. No, no, and this is what you have to come to no. right here. You, you're saying Brock Purdy is doing something in that system that Kyler Murray wouldn't. And I, I don't think so. They're built nope. a fucking... Where, where, whoa! Don't pivot. See, you're trying to pivot. I'm not Stop pivoting. Pivot. You're pivoting. Where, sense. where, when did I say you know that Kyler true. Murray couldn't do that in that system? So when? When did I say What's that? The argument? What's the argument? The argument is who's gonna have more success? Bro, what? You're just, what? You're that just, was the argument. You're just too far off the ledge on this point, and now you gotta be on it. But it's okay to pivot back, bro. Kyle, How am I Kyle pivoting? Bro, Murray, we said who was gonna have more success. Was that not the oh, argument? Okay, okay, I think Kyler Murray will because you know why? Okay. He, 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 what are we, he gonna force his way out. He gonna force his way out of Arizona. He's not gonna stay there his whole fucking Is he? Career. Bro, that, he, that nigga will go play fucking baseball, bro. He will do that shit. Okay, then he go play baseball. And then love, what will that matter? Then I'll win now, the argument. I'll admit this. I'll admit this. Brock Purdy, he he does probably love football more than Colin Murray. Yes, he does. But don't get him mistaken. He is no Colin Murray. Okay, 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 the okay, most, okay, the, okay. The, the most distinguished Texas high school football player of all. What Colin. the fuck does that matter for the NFL? Yeah. What does that matter? What does that matter? Please tell me. Is Aaron Rodgers not the most gifted throw of the quarter thrower of the football we've ever seen? And Tom Brady, the nigga that was drafted rounds and rounds later, went on to be more No! You I let you I literally let you talk and now you won't let me respond. So the 2021 was so so the 2021 2020 You won't let me respond. Colin Murray was not in the MVP race like 70% of the way. Exactly! When like he a, went 11... Has never been MVP wait, wait, wait. Did, he, here, did he go 11 and 0? Wait, oh, I, no. wrong. This is a different breed. This is Kyle Murray. Look, no, no, I haven't got started on his franchise. Don't get me started on what the Arizona Cardinals have done to quarterbacks and what, what have they... I'm going to let you go. Their, their lack thereof, have, what they have been... In, in, bro, they're one of the fucking... Lack, they're up there with the Texans. They're, 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 bro, okay, okay, I'm going to tell you the laughing stop to the fucking NFL, bro. Arizona... Okay, Texans. Okay, uh, uh, fucking franchise that have, is never gonna do shit. Titans. Okay, um, um, fucking um, who else? Who else? Who else? It, bro, it's some, it's some bad ones. Bro. Okay, uh, those are the fucking bad ones, bro. Those are the fucking bad ones. I'm telling you, nobody gets lower than the fucking the Texans, the Detroit Lions. There you go. Thank the you. Fucking, uh, Oh, I'm just saying, bro, Arizona. Bro, he's That's with, the number one on the list, first he, of all. He's with them. They they had a coach for a year. And just went, bro, it's just like, bro, I'm telling you, Arizona is the problem. Ask DeAndre Hopkins. Ask, ask Kurt Warner, bro. Ask, ask some of these guys. 
Ask Larry Fitzgerald if he maybe should have gotten Did out Did Larry of his Fitzgerald career. make a Super Bowl in Arizona? Bro, Texas has, has bro, a lot of his franchises have had success. I'm talking about. When's the last time the, the te- When's compared? the last time the Texans made the Super Bowl? Okay, bro. They're they're not quite the Texans. They're last. The Texans are the youngest. They're last. Okay, but they're right there, a, a, a slide or two above them. I'm so much greater. You know, Arizona is not a place for a quarterback to to succeed. They haven't proven it. They have no Hall of Famers in in the uh, NFL at the quarterback position. Colin Murray is probably the best talent they've had. And that in that franchise history at quarterback, if you want to be real, There's Carson no Palmer Hall- was not better than Colin Murray. So this this so Kurt Warner didn't play for the Arizona. Kurt Warner Warriors. was not is not better, more talented than Kurt than uh but his his glory days were with the Rams. Okay? It was with St. Louis. Fair. Somehow saying. somehow he made a super but, Bowl you know, with the bro, Cardinals too. You're in a you're in a you're in a you're in a boat on that one by yourself, buddy. You wanna sink on that one by yourself because everybody named Mama knows if that Colin Murray, if he gets in a solid situation, he's going to make some noise, staying healthy. They're both smaller quarters. But they, that's actually a good conversation because they're built alike. They're both mobile, both big 12 quarterbacks. It's, that's a great conversation. They're both, did they both uh, play Texas high school football or am I tripping? Or no? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. But at the same time, he's he's no Colin Murray. Speed, the, ball, the, 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 the accuracy, uh, the power. No, no, no. Colin Murray is one of those Bo Jackson type niggas. Like he, he can be that, bro. He can go play for the fucking A's and come out and play, play with the motherfucking Arizona Cardinals. He's a Deion Sanders like talent. Ask, ask some niggas at Allen High School about then they got a fucking shrine over there. Come on, bro. That's a different breed. I know he hasn't won much, and Brock Purdy hasn't done too much last time I checked. And he has, I need more than a nine game sample size. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Give me a whole season. Show me that elbow working, boy. Show me that UCL good. Show me. Because I remember when that nigga said that shit was tingling from the top to bottom. Your shit was going. Your nerve was fucked. So you got to show me something. Are you done? Are you done? It's trade day, baby. Are you done? I'm done. I, I don't got to, bro. Anybody knows that. You Like I said, you're, nobody says that. If nobody ever got Brock Purdy mistaken for Colin Murray. That's just you. You just. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't go with the chalk all the time. Okay, I actually have well, opinions. I look at the what I'm I watching. I look at the situation. Hold on, hold on. You had oh, your time. I'm, so I'm, enough. I'm I'm you had your time. So that's enough. Okay. I think we can all agree. I let him say his piece. I stopped. Oh, I didn't let him talk. No, I let him talk. Okay. So we're done. Right. We're done now. Okay. So let me ask you a question, Rome. When they went eleven and one to start the season, what happened? Who? The, the Cardinals Kirk. two seasons ago. They, with they, with wait 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 with Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury as the coach. They imploded, he's a, they imploded bro. I just say your love, bro. This nigga, he's not he's not a great leader. He's gonna have to have veterans around him. But we're comparing him to Brock Purdy. We're not talking about just him to everybody else. We said he's gonna have more success. So. Well, I I think Kyler Murray will have more success because. He will force his hand out of Arizona eventually. He's okay, so him. let me ask you, what happened? What happened contract. from them going eleven and one to losing damn near all the rest of the games in that season? Was it just the defenses adapting to Cliff Kingsbury's system? Is that it? Bro, it's, I, I thought he was a transcendent talent. It, it, bro, it's bro that doesn't fall squarely on Colin Murray's shoulders. You know that some some of it does. Most of the blame doesn't fall on the quarterback's shoulders. Bro, see, see, you're not, see, you, you're being all. All, all reporter head now. Like, come on, it, we know what. Come on, you played, bro. You know, I did. like, bro, like, there. It's, it's what a, was so different? That's what I'm asking. What happened? I'm asking you what happened. You know what, what? What made them fall out that season? That's what I want to ask you. What? If it's not Kyler Murray, what is it? It was a plethora of things, bro. He, he was, he was probably, he was, he's not. I'm sure he'll say he was part of the reason too. But he, he took a lot of hit for that year, bro. Like he, he asked was, for a contract like, extension about, the year after. People talk about he, uh, you know, how he, uh, they make jokes about he love Call of Duty more than you know, what I'm saying shit like that. The nigga don't love. He's not in love with football. Okay, but, but, I mean, forgive the man for being great at other things and just having a life really where he really didn't, you know. Hey, come play, that co- play that cop. Play that cop, brother. Come poverty and all that, and you know, and I'm, I'm just saying like he, he don't love the game, but. He is way better than Brock Purdy. You give you give Kyler Murray to the to the San Francisco 49ers, they're Super Bowl favorites. 
So just stop playing with that man's name. That's all I'm saying. Stop playing with his name. Stop playing with his name. He's a, he's one of the top five dual threat quarterbacks in the league. And last time I checked, a dual threat quarterback is what you need to win a championship in the modern NFL. What, what? So that's saying so a lot, Travis. Is he a, so who's your top he's five a dual top threat five, quarterback? He's a top five. Mahomes, okay, I got a name for you. No order. Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson. First of all, Lamar Josh Jackson Allen. is above him. Josh Allen. Justin Herbert is not mobile. I, 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 I'll take really Josh and Allen truly, Justin Patrick Herbert. Mahomes is also not considered a mobile quarterback. He's dual threat. If we're going to do that, yeah. then we consider Justin Herbert, too. We consider Derek. I'm telling you, Derek bro. Derek like, does, does, does not do I know. And that's Dak Prescott used to be a dual like, not, threat. He, like, he doesn't really do that he anymore. He, but, he's a dual threat, but he's not top five. I'm not going to put him on my top. I know better. But yeah, I'm see, saying see, Patrick, see, Ma- see, Patrick see, Mahomes doesn't. He doesn't have to do that. He only see uses people, that when he needs see to. See, people, I'm a Cowboys fanatic. I'm a real fan, bro. I'm, I'm a real fan. I'm, I'm a real fan. And I, I'm i a fair fan. I could have easily said, that Burke got him out just, just for some silly shit. No, because I know better. I want to have a respectful a respectful dialogue to, to go along with this topic. You know, I, don't want pe- I want people to respect my opinion and say he really tried to, to see that for what it was. Okay, so that shows you I don't put emotion first. I could have said Dak Prescott, but no, I know better. I look at the game. I said niggas that, that dagger me. Okay, I, I said niggas that send my team home. I put How Jay- far is your team gone? Why are you switching the subject? I, the, 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 the fact the of the matter is... The people that daggered you, the, I didn't change the, the, the subject. The, the, the fact of the matter is I'm, I'm a real solid expert. I'll try to give you like the fan bias, put it out of there. I give it to you like it is, but okay. Right. Now Tell we're me to eat my, we're, my, my chicken we're and pasta rum. like we've had enough of that. I mean, people, we can sit here and try and make excuses. Can we finish our show? Hey, th- enough. We can try and make excuses for Kyler Murray, like how we do somewhat for Kyrie Irving, I guess, in the NBA. It's like everything around him is like not his fault whatsoever. Uh, Oh, it's a plethora of things. He he doesn't love football as much. And, like, I'm sorry. You know, sometimes you can be a very talented and athletic quarterback, and sometimes that doesn't amount to the most success in your career. A.K.A. Marcus. Enough. A.K.A. Dan Marino. A.K.A. Aaron Rodgers. But the yeah. niggas that have been the most successful. I had enough, bro. I'm. Can I talk? Enough. Yeah. Like, you're sitting here and acting like they didn't go – Nose to nose in one of the closest finishes ever in a Super Bowl with a Hall of Fame quarterback, a Hall of Fame wide receiver in a Super Bowl. The Texans have not been in no Super Bowl. The the Detroit Lions have only won one playoff game since 1957. Let's not sit here and act like, oh, they're like the second worst team in the league. They're not. They're not. Okay, I'm sorry. They're not. When they went 11 and one and were like the number one seed, and Kyler Murray choked his guts out. Uh, I'm sorry, but no one was saying that they were some sorry ass team when they were 11 and 0 and lost one game. No one was saying that. So no, stop! It. It's enough, bro. I'm talking now. This is my time. This is my time. Eat your chicken and freaking pasta. <laughs> Eat your chicken and freaking pasta. I'm not gonna. This is my time. This is my time. If I'm gonna get back to secret invasion, then I'll get to it. But I'm responding to what you said. Okay. This is enough. I have had enough. We cannot sit here and act like the most athletic people in sports are always the one that succeeds the most. That is not the case. We have seen it in every single sport, okay? Just because Kyler Murray is so athletic and can do all of these things, that doesn't mean he's going to win every single year. It doesn't mean he's going to be a winning player. I am coming out and saying at this point in his career, yes. Am I making a projection? Yes. I don't think he's going to be a winning player in his career. I don't care where he goes. Unless he drops into some gift made LA Rams type situation a la Matt Stafford. I don't think he's winning a Super Bowl. He's not winning anything of note in Arizona. Thank you. That is my take. Now, I am ready to get back to Secret Invasion. <laughs> you have 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds, hey. dude. 30 seconds. Do you think if, if Colin Murray ever gets a chance, opportunity, which he, he will soon, to be, you know, for an established franchise that has championships, you know, established, well, listen, established coach, established front office, do you think then he will be capable of, capable of, like, competing for a conference championship or Super Bowl appearance? Do, do, do you think he can make noise with stability? 
surrounding him? I think that there's about a 15% chance that he lands in a situation with said stability. And even if he does, he will be under contract at said time because I believe he is forcing his way out of Arizona, which will require pieces that are necessary to win a championship or get to a conference championship. So I say no. And, I say and, no. And, and one, one more quick 10-second question. If we woke up the next tomorrow and saw that he got traded to the San Francisco 49ers, would you would you have them, the NFC favorites, like right there with Philly? No. I would have the Dallas Cowboys right. favored over – the San Francisco 49ers because if he was traded there then that means that they took on that long new contract that Kyler Murray just signed which costs over 40 50 million dollars a year or whatever which means that they have traded away not picks people they're not trading away picks for that money you're done don't turn around here you're done that means that they've traded away too much in terms of actual assets and players that are actually on the field at the moment that are current and proven commodities. Not trade picks, not draft picks in 2030, not draft picks in 2032, or whatever the fuck. We're not putting no third team in there. There is no need. When you are in said conference, why would you help another team that much to make them better in your conference? Makes no sense. But this has been a quick video. It ain't really quick. But, you know what I'm saying? It don't stop, bro. Location is on. And this football shit is on. Brock Purdy versus Kyler Murray. I know I'm in the minority even though in time, who will have more success? Factor in situation. Factor in temperament. Factor in intangibles. And factor in what we've seen, people. It's your boy T-Rap. I'm out. Oh. I'm thinking you realize, bro, you really fucked up because every Brock Purdy game, I'm seeing you screen. You better hope he, you better hope he comes with it in his career. Cause you, cause this man is is, is under the as microscope. Of right now, as of right now, as of right now, as of right now, they both retired. Who has more success? He's under the Thank microscope. You.